Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 8. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 10 of Book 8. Now, in this proposition, we start with two series. Both series start with the number 1. Uh, the series is in continuous proportion. One series ends in A, and the other series ends in B, and both series are of the same length. Under these conditions, we can create another series from A to B that is also continuously proportional and will be exactly the same length of the previous two series that we mentioned. And this is pretty much the inverse of Proposition 9 of this book. So let's look at Euclid's proof. First, we define three numbers, h, k, and l, such that h is equal to d times f, k is equal to d times h, and l is equal to h times f. Now, c is equal to 1, so d is basically equal to d times c, because c is equal to 1. So if c to d is done by this factor of d, then e and d will also have the same factor d. So e is to d as d is to c, so they're both multiplied by d, so we have that e is equal to d times d. Likewise, e is to a is in the same proportion, so e is to a as d is to c, we have a factor of d involved, so a is equal to d times e, which is equal to d times e. So in all these cases, d, e, and a, we do it by multiplying by d. Likewise, we have um, f is equal to f times 1, which means that g is equal to f times f, and b is equal to f times g. Now, d is, if we cross out, just a moment here, if we cross out this guy and this guy, we have that d is to f as e is to h. So d is to f, sorry, d is to f, e is to h. d is to f, we do this again, Oops. this time we cross out the f's, and we have that d is to f as h is to g. And finally, we are looking at e to h, so in this case, cross out the d's, and e is to h as a is to k. Now d to f is equal to e to h, e to h is equal to a to k, so we have the df equals a of k, a to k. And we keep going along this way, so we have d to f is equal to k to l, And since d to f is equal to a to k, we have a to k equals k, of, uh, k to l. And continuing on, we have, we cross out the f's here, we have h to g is equal to l to b. And we have that df is equal to ag and ag is equal to lb, so we get rid of those, we have that df is equal to lb. So now that we have all these equalities, we have that AK is equal to DF and DF is equal to KL. So AK equals KL and LB, which is also equal to DF, is equal to LB. So we have the three DFs here. So A to K is equal to K to L, which is equal to L to B. So here is our new series 
of continuously proportional numbers starting at A and ending at B. And we started with one, well, C, D, E, A, which is four numbers. Here we have A, K, L, and B, which is four numbers. So the length of these two series are the same as the final series between A and B. And thus we have proven that if you have two series starting with one that are the same length that end in A and B respectively, a, another series in continuous proportion starting with A and ending with B will also be of the same 